Men simply have had it with women's constant unreasonable expectations. Women don't desire unattractive men. Anyone who drives a Honda or Toyota instead of the latest Tesla is not who they are looking for. They won't settle for a man who makes less than a certain amount of money. They keep cheating on men despite having everything they want. And they certainly don't want to approach guys because, guess what, they can't seem to hold a basic conversation with strangers. I mean, that's what women say about men who approach them, right? So when the situation is flipped, it's the same with them. I wouldn't say it's strange for a woman to approach a man, but if she does, she should be prepared for the same likelihood of rejection as men. Women shouldn't be shocked if the person tells them he has a girlfriend while he's actually lying. After one rejection, the majority of women will likely give up. Men are terrible at approaching people, so maybe women should start doing it instead if they come across as weird. In my perspective, women will criticize males for bizarre behaviors that are extremely similar to what they themselves do. Simply put, women are more likely to excuse themselves than to do the same for men. Welcome to the harsh truth of getting rejected by men. Men are expected to amuse ladies by coming up with amusing one-liners, conversation starters, and interesting ways to keep the conversation moving during this period. Now that the situation is reversed, women will make little to no effort. The woman who did this in the story did not like it and immediately wanted to stop dating. For a long time, men have tolerated this from women who barely respond and have made it harder for men to approach them too. And that's what basically led to the Megtau ideology to rise. You start to wonder why guys put up such an effort for such a prolonged period of time. It's because it's just not easy. It's really hard to try and make interesting conversations out of thin air. And yet, men have to do this because women won't. And men have to suffer the consequences as well, while women just go on about their day and reject the next guy who approaches her. So, when we say that men don't approach women anymore, there's not a single answer to this, but a combination of many facts and truths about society and gender dynamics at play today. The era we now live in has changed significantly from how society and culture were seven or eight decades ago. When I think about these developments, one thing stands out to me in particular. Why are males approaching women differently now than they used to? What took place during this period? Men chase women around and make idiots of themselves, but do they really want to be with them? No matter how far away from you a woman was, there was no quick way to get in touch with her before social media, smartphones, and the internet. Since there was no other way to interact with women back then, males would physically approach women to show that they were interested in them. A man had to follow social norms by dressing appropriately and even talking to the girl's parents before asking her out on a date. Men can now interact with women whenever they want, from wherever they are, and women can do the same for men. Back then, it took a lot of work. You had to organize everything on your own. It was easy and, I guess, a bit more exciting. Since you didn't have the option of looking her up on social media, you probably had an image of the person in your head that you saw and liked. And that's what prompted guys to approach the woman face to face and ask for a date. Since that was the way things were back then, most people dated inside their own groups. Distance was a real issue. Today, you may have a live online conversation with anyone, anywhere in the globe. Therefore, both men and women did not have access to such luxury in the past. These luxuries certainly allow people to spend less time and money on socializing and going on dates, but they also lessen the authenticity of such interactions. So, why aren't men approaching women anymore? I believe the reason is that males typically weigh the advantages and disadvantages of any decision before acting. The disadvantages of approaching women today outweigh the advantages by a wide margin. Today, approaching women nearly always results in humiliation, being called a weirdo, or just being ignored and socially shunned. Why? Because most males are perceived by women as predators or desperate men. They will be fine if they already know a guy and want him to contact them, but that is another matter. But it is simply not worthwhile for a male to approach an unidentified woman. There are too many risks. Social embarrassment, total ignorance, and a generalized dread of rejection are just some of the reasons why men choose to avoid approaching women. If a man approached a lady respectfully to start a conversation, she would likely embarrass him more often than not. In a video I saw, a man makes an absolute mess of himself by trying to talk to a woman without being rude or odd. The woman fabricated the claim that the contact was unusual and posted it to social media for laughs, attention, and perhaps a shot at becoming viral. 
I found myself thinking why in the world I would want to approach a woman today as I saw this happen. To understand why this is happening, we also need to understand that different women treat different guys in different ways. I want you guys to think about social standing and how one's value affects how they are treated. Think about times when you were approached by a homeless person in your own life. You went on the defensive right away and determined not to talk to them or give them anything. The same is true for women. They're big on social status and image. Even though their circumstances are significantly worse now than they were a century ago. Women must constantly be extra cautious since a man may take them against their will at any time. However, the issue arises when you witness a woman publicly humiliate a man for merely approaching her in a public place with onlookers. If we dig a little deeper, we can only come to the conclusion that modern women no longer value the average guy or men in general. Do you believe Mark Zuckerberg would be treated the same way by a woman who is known for treating the average men who approach her with contempt? Not at all, right? Zuckerberg is a billionaire with influence and authority. She wouldn't have the audacity to disparage him. You can see that everything ultimately boils down to a man's status and perceived worth based on how he behaves, communicates, and approaches the woman. As I indicated before, a woman will treat different guys differently depending on how she perceives them. She will treat the man as though he is useless or inferior if she doesn't believe he is better than her. She would treat a man with respect and be more accepting of him though if she feels that he is superior to her. Watch the interactions between a woman and her employer. Consider who she would treat respectfully if they came to her, the boss or the junior. Modern women clearly have no respect for men anymore. And I think the majority of guys have decided not to talk to these women because they have realized this. Men have made the decision to refrain from any actions that enable women to treat them disrespectfully and to belittle them. Men have noticed that women's treatment of men has worsened over time. They have made the decision to put their name, integrity, and respect before the disdain and denigration that women have shown them. Seriously, I'd be much better off avoiding women myself because, I promise, I've heard tales of girls harassing women who then call the cops on them. Obviously there was nothing wrong with the men, they just weren't as attractive or perhaps didn't make millions of dollars. So why then would I or anyone else subject themselves to anything like this? It is not logical. Additionally, I believe that a significant portion of women are simply no longer worth contacting. I believe women desire men's validation in public so they may flaunt it in their circles, embarrass the man, and feel validated, something they might lack in every aspect of their real life. Can one even approach modern women? Not under these circumstances. Men are now beginning to wake up and realize everything. They have no time to waste caring about women who are pointless to interact with. Women don't seem to be aware of how unfair the game is for men in general. What do you think about all of this? Do you think men should approach women? Thanks for watching Man Reacts. Show us your love and support by liking this video, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to the channel. Support us and help us spread support for men around the world. Do comment and share your thoughts. We're always up for a healthy debate and discussion.